If there's anything that I've learned in all of my years of life, 25 years of being a friend, a professional astrologer and tarot reader to all of your favorite influencers, a woman who loves reality TV and gossip and having all of the tea, it's to learn how to keep your mouth shut. If you are somebody who loves gossip and drama, even if it's just you always being on the outside of it, or let me make this easier, if you're a Gemini, you know that the fun of gossip is being the bearer of the information, being the one to be like, wait, 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 guys, did you know what happened? Wait, 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 let me tell you. Like, that's the fun part, but as soon as you get it out, the high is over, right? Like, the fun is knowing that you are breaking that threshold with the information that you're given. But when somebody tells you something insanely crucial or private or something that would shake the table, that is your first test into not repeating it. And when you earn the trust of the person giving you this information, they're only going to tell you more because you've proven that you are trustworthy. So if you can refrain from that high of sharing the information and just keeping things to yourself, you will continuously get that flow of intel. And I would argue that the high of finally seeing that information resurface to the light of day four years later is far more exciting than like just telling the wrong person and it getting back to you and then you getting in some drama feeling like shit feeling guilty then this person having a falling out with you and being like i should, never should have trusted you like it's all unnecessary but when you get told the thing because people trust you you get to see the dominoes falling in a way where you don't have to feel guilty for it you're not a part of it but you do get to like enjoy what is the cycle of information and before any man comments in here and is just like oh my god some misogynistic comment about women gossiping and how that's all they care about bitch history is gossip it's gossip written down gossip helps people it keeps society moving it literally protects people and of course when i refer to gossip i'm not saying you know you fat shaming this girl that you're jealous of because the guy you like is sleeping with her that's not gossip that's you being a loser but rather like finding out a deep secret or a large part of somebody's life that is incredibly private things like that are much more rewarding when you get to see the culmination of it without having to be involved with it and when everybody finally gets to talk about it you get to be like actually i was there the night that happened history in 2014 <laughs> I know, I knew the whole time and I didn't tell anybody. And then you will always get the information. So yes, be a good person, be trustworthy because you should be. But it's also okay to be a little selfish and enjoy the fact that by being a very kind, understanding, empathetic, trustworthy person and not resharing that information, especially out of malice, you'll kind of always be a vessel of getting the tea, baby. Keep your mouth shut.